Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition of the D Hard House podcast. This video is all about diving into the D Hard House sock knit along that is happening this year in 2020. So in this video I'm just going to outline all the things that you will need to participate in this knit along, how you can participate in this knit along, and what you could possibly win by participating in this knit along. So let's dive right in. So the first thing that you will need to do is download the pattern for this knit along. Uh, the pattern is going to be for this sock right here, which is a color work sock pattern called Waxing and Waning. Uh, this pattern will cost you $1, one US dollar to download. Um, on Ravelry and so you will have the pattern to follow along uh, as we go. So that's the first thing you need. So you will also need some yarn and you will need two colors of fingering weight yarn. So I have used a tonal yarn. Uh, it has purple, green, and blue in it, different tones. Uh, it's not striping, it's not speckled, um, and then I have a solid color. You can choose whatever two colors you want. You want two solid colors, you want a speckle in a solid color, you want two speckles, you want striping yarn, you want whatever. The main thing that I'm going to recommend is that you want your two colors, whatever they are for your yarn, to contrast. So. This is a very pale gray color, and there is no gray in this tonal yarn. Uh, so it, it coordinates, but it doesn't match, as in this color is found nowhere in this skein, right? So does that make sense? Um, so for example, let me show you a color combination I would not pick for this pattern. So, for example, I would not put these two colors together because this skein right here has orange in it. And so when it gets to the color work pieces, um, this color is not going to pop out against this color or vice versa uh, because there is uh, orange in this skein, right? So these are two colors, very, very beautiful colors um, from Bridiculous Hand Dyed Yarn. I actually won these two colors from a giveaway on Instagram. Uh, and they coordinate, they go very well together. I plan on knitting um, something out of these two, probably a shawl. Uh, but, and the colors coordinate very well together because this orange does match. Uh, but as far as our pattern is concerned, I grab this off. Um, the color work uh, that we're going to be doing will not show up very well. So when you're picking out your two colors of yarn, I mean you want them to go together. Uh, you want them to pair nicely, but you want them to be different so that when you're doing the color work they stand out against each other. Okay, so how much yarn do you need? Uh, it depends depends on the size sock that you're going to be knitting. So let me grab my number so you can tell you, I can tell you what I used on my first sock. This first sock, I used 25 grams of the main color and 9 grams of the contrasting color. Um, which I didn't write down the yardages, but I will put those on the screen. So, um, that's how much I use. I wear a women's US size 8 shoe. Um, and that's the size sock that I knit. So if you are knitting a sock for a larger foot, you'll use more yarn. Uh, if you're knitting a sock for a smaller foot, you'll use less yarn. If you want the leg of your sock to be longer than what I've knit for mine, you'll use more yarn, right? So it kind of depends depends on what size sock you're going to be knitting. Also, 
The pattern is going to be modifiable so you can kind of switch up the color work charts. So it also depends how you choose to knit the charts. So I can tell you that uh, this main color, I started with a full skein. This was a full 100 gram skein of yarn. Uh, I used one fourth of it for this first sock. Um, so I still have three fourths of this skein left to knit the second one. Um, my contrasting color is actually leftover yarn from a previous project. Uh, and I think it was actually my Find Your Fade shawl that I used this in. I thought it was my sweater, but it wasn't. Um, so I had 34 grams of this leftover, and I used 9 grams in this sock. And so I have 25 grams still left over, right? So you don't necessarily have to have two full skeins of yarn to complete a pair of socks, but that number is going to be a little bit fluid depending on the size sock that you're making and how you're going to be uh, working the charts. So hopefully I've given you a little bit of a ballpark of how much I used for one of the socks. Um, I still need to knit the second one. I'll be knitting that along with you as I create these videos. Okay, so some other things that you're definitely going to need at some point. Scissors. In case you didn't know what scissors were. <laughs> You'll need to cut the yarn at some point. Um, so make sure you have access to some scissors. These are my little scissors that I keep in my notions pouch and I carry them around with me. And they've actually come in handy um, for non-knitting purposes <laughs> uh, quite often. Uh, but you'll need a pair of scissors. You will also need a yarn needle. Uh, so something to weave in your ends when we're finished with the project. So this yarn needle is very dull on the tip. I pretty much couldn't puncture my skin unless I threw this at myself with great force. Uh, and the eye of the needle is thick enough that I can easily uh, thread it with some fingering lay on. So you will want a yarn needle. And then it never hurts to have some cute uh, stitch markers and a progress keeper uh, to go along with the project as well. Um, I am going to be using, let me grab it. <laughs> I'm on the edge of my desk and so all my stuff is on the other side of the camera. <laughs> I am going to be using um, a circular knitting needle to knit this sock and to create the tutorial videos. And so I'm going to be using the magic loop method for knitting my sock. Uh, I am going to be using a US size of one knitting needle, which is a 2.25 millimeter. I'm using Chow Gu needles. These are pretty much all I own and I love them. Um, but you can adjust the needle size depending on um, the gauge you would like to achieve with your color work knitting. Um, and I've also made the stitch counts somewhat adjustable as well. So if you're needing to add a few stitches or decrease a few stitches, yep, <laughs> uh, you can do that. So um, what I'm trying to say is that I won't be using stitch markers because I will have these stitches split half on one side of the needle, half on the other side of the needle. But if you're using something like a nine inch circular knitting needle, you will want a stitch marker to mark the beginning of your round. Uh, if you're using double pointed needles, you also might want a stitch marker to mark the beginning of your round, depending on where you like to place that. Um, so again, you might need stitch markers, you might not. Um, okay, so you will need knitting needles, US size one, US size zero, US size one and a half, two, what, depending on what kind of gauge you want to get. Um, but if you're a brand new sock knitter, there's the garbage truck. <laughs> uh, but if you're a brand new sock knitter uh, and you don't have knitting needles, I started out knitting on US size ones and I love them. So I highly recommend um, that size. 
let me tell you about how to participate in this noodle along. So there are two places where you can participate in this noodle along. One of them is Ravelry and the other one is Instagram. So depending on where you have accounts um, set up, you can participate in this knit along in either of those two ways, or both if you want to. So on Ravelry, you need to join the D Hard House podcast group. You have to be a member of the group to win. Uh, so go ahead and join the group. And all you're going to do is be posting in the knit along thread that I've started. So I will not have a separate chatter thread. It will all be in one place. So I want to see progress pictures. I want to see finished object pictures. I want to see questions and comments and kudos and all of those things in the thread. The more you post, the more chances you have of winning a prize. So this is a particip participation based knit along. So you do not have to finish your socks in order to win which I think makes this a little bit more fun. So that's how you can participate on Ravelry. Here's how you can participate on Instagram. So what you need to do is when you're making a post on Instagram about your socks, progress pictures, pictures of your yarn that you want to use, uh, pictures of you knitting on it, pictures of finished objects, whatever. Okay, but as long as your picture has to do with the sock that you're working on, all I ask that you do is you use the hashtag DHardHouseSockCal2020. I have that on the screen right here. So you can post as many times as you want. You can talk about whatever you want with the knit along and post pictures about it. Um, and every time you use that hashtag, you'll be entered into a drawing to win a prize. So. I will be drawing one winner from the Ravelry thread and one winner from Instagram. And here are the prizes that you can win. So, uh, someone, two, two lucky winners, one from Ravelry and one from Instagram, will win a crochet stuffy made by me. I have a bear and an arctic fox. And each comes with their own scarf that they're wearing. Um, so you'll win a little crochet stuffy from, made by me. And then to go with that stuffy is a little notions pouch, uh, which is also made by me. So uh, to go with the bear is this salmon colored notions pouch. And then to go with the Arctic Fox is this teal one with gold ladybugs on it. Uh, with a clear vinyl and what I'll be doing is adding little goodies to these notions pouches <laughs> I'm getting tangled in my words today uh, so uh, I'll add in like some stitch markers some supplies knitting supplies um, maybe some tea maybe some candy um, stuff like that but I'll be stuffing those notion pouches full of goodies. Um, so I'm going to be working on that as we go through the knit along. Uh, and then when the knit along is over, I will draw a random winner from the Ravelry thread and a random winner from Instagram using the hashtag. So the more you post, the more entries you get. So post, post, post all the time. So the knit along will start on March 20th, which is this Friday, and it will end on April 30th. So you'll get about 10 days in March and then all of the month of April. And again, you do not have to finish your pair of socks in order to be eligible to win a prize. All I ask is that you participate. So, uh, I hope that gives you a good outline of what it is you need to get together in the next few days and um, you can look forward to more videos from me about this knit along uh, as we go through it. So if you have any questions feel free to pop them in the comments below and I will see you very soon with the first tutorial video. So until then
Bye.